I first heard about the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point from a teacher I had in high school who had come here years ago. He really recommended it for their wildlife program and he knew how much that I liked natural resources and the outdoors. My name is Christina Borgstrom. I'm from Buffalo, Minnesota, and I'm studying wildlife ecology research and management. I came here for orientation and I immediately fell in love with the campus. Um, what really drew me to this college was the small feeling it had. You felt really connected to all the resources around you. In the past couple of years, I've been really involved with the Herpetology Society, the Wildlife Society, and Women in Natural Resources. And I've excelled in all those organizations from just members to now I'm holding an officer position in almost all of those. Within the Wildlife Society, I've had the opportunity to run the Gray Squirrel Research Project and just going out on the weekends during your free time to Sand Hill Wildlife Center and trapping gray squirrels with uh, some of my classmates has just been a phenomenal experience. Faculty members here at the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point are very accessible. Um, I was a bit shy my freshman year getting to know them, but I think having lab professors as well and those first beginner and our courses that you take here really helps you make those personal connections between faculty. I've had a couple different internships through my four years here at the university. Uh, my first internship was after my junior year, I went to, uh, it's called Wild Instincts. It's a wildlife rehabilitation center in Rhinelander, Wisconsin. And that was my first taste of working with um, kind of wild captive animals, helping orphaned and injured wildlife, rehabilitating them, and then getting to release them, which was really a positive feeling. And then I've also had a recent internship at the Minnesota Zoo this past summer, working with their Close Encounters Department, um, working more towards educating the public on conservation efforts, but then also making those connections too within the zookeeper world. My future plans once I graduate in a week would be to work in a private or a corporate zoo organization that does captive breeding and reintroduction programs.